I hope you can see my screen. It says the lazy man. So today we're going to be, hello guys. Today we're going to be reading a story called Lazy Man. Welcome to my channel. And we're going to read the story Lazy Man, like I said. So let us start, guys. There was a small town in Ankara, Turkey. There lived a man called called Mr. Edmund. Give me a minute, please. Okay. Oh, let me just connect this port USB thing. Good, okay. Mouse is now connected so I can read it easily. So there was a small town in Ankara, Turkey. There lived a man called Mr. Edmund. He was a responsible and a sensible person. He lived alone in his house. He was so organized and kept things in systematic order at his house. He never misplaced any item. He used to clean his house, wash his dishes, water the plants, and wash his clothes every day. Mr. Edmund's, Edmund's house, Edmund's house was dirt free. One night he was very tired of doing the dishes and cleaning the kitchen after dinner, so he decided to wash them tomorrow after coming back home from work. That night he slept without washing the, the dishes and cutlery. The next day when Edmund, Ed, Mr. Edmund came home, he was more tired than the previous day. He was still not willing to wash the dishes, so he thought that he could wash in the next few days. As the days went by, he became lazier and lazier. After coming from home th from work, he used to sit idle for hours and hours, but still didn't wash the dishes. After a week, his house started smelling horrible because of the unwashed dishes being stepped up stacked up continuously. The pile of cutlery was increasing day by day, and Mr. Edmund was too lazy to clean them. The then came the day when he ran out of his entire cutlery because all the dishes were loaded in the sink for washing. Unfortunately, Mr. Edmund had to eat his dinner in plant containers and soap cups. Unfortunately, Mr. Edmund was unhappy with the situation. He wanted to get rid of this situation. One day it was raining outside. He was feeling very sad. He wished that he had washed the dishes side by side. It was hard for him to wash all the dishes at once. He decided to put all the dishes out in the rain and let them wash by nature. After the rain washed his entire cutlery, the dishes became clean again. He ventilated his house to remove the smell and brought all the dishes back to the kitchen. He was very happy to see his kitchen clean again. He placed all his dishes in, in place and his house became clean again. But during this time, he learned a lesson to do his work on time and never leave it for tomorrow. What is possible today may not be possible tomorrow. Moral, do your moral. The moral of this story is do your work on time. Never leave today's work for tomorrow. So this is a story called The Lazy Man. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe in the cha please subscribe to our channel and please type in the comments below what you feel about these videos. Bye. Thank you.